Honourable Premier. Thank you very much, Mr Deputy Speaker. I'm sure we all found those words very moving from all of our colleagues, from all the parties represented here. And Mr Deputy Speaker, it's sometimes difficult to remember and even to feel in the heat of debate how much we actually have in common and how much everyone who works in this parliament wants South Africa to succeed in a democracy and as a democracy and as a country with a great future for all her children and that I'm sure that the vast majority of us are here to try and advance that particular goal. Certainly speaking for myself, the irony is that I have had a long journey in politics, but in many respects longer with some of the members of the Honourable Opposition than with my own party. And I have known them for many, many years in very complex and difficult circumstances. And the people that I know well, I know are honourable people who are committed to the future of this country with a great depth and a great passion, as are the people on this side of the house. One does not only have to serve here as a politician, Mr. Deputy Speaker, one serves here in a variety of capacities and everybody's job, whether it's been cleaning this parliament and this house, or ensuring that we have full water glasses, or ensuring that the minutes are done, or that the language is translated, or that the order is maintained, or that we are adequately advised and serviced through the administration, they've all got a crucial role to play and have chosen to be here because they also want to advance the cause of democracy. All of us, I think, would like to thank the people who have worked to support us in the work we do in this parliament, as I very particularly do for my personal office and for all my colleagues here in this house. I would like to echo what other colleagues have said about people who are voluntarily laying down the cudgels, as it were, and I want to pay a very special tribute to them. The leader of the opposition is a person who will be leaving this house and going to national parliament, as I understand it. The Honorable Alta Rousseau, who's been the chief whip of this house and has whipped us along, believe me, I've felt some of the sting of that for the last five years. Thank you very much for your dedication. To the two ministers, who voluntarily won't be returning, I wanted to thank them very, very much for the colour and flair and solidity, and I won't tell you who I'm referring to with each of those words, you have lent to this August House. To all of the other people who won't be returning, whether they've chosen that path or not, let me wish you Godspeed. And let us hope that the will of the people will be done in South Africa and in our very creative system of checks and balances, which includes three spheres of government that can be governed by different political parties because we believe that in a complex plural society, it is good to have different centers of power and the division of powers and functions to ensure that not too much power is concentrated in too few hands. And so we're very committed to making our system of democracy work, of making cooperative governance work, of holding any government, wherever it is, to account through a parliament and through free and independent institutions that we have seen acting very vigorously in the past while. And so, 20 years into democracy, well, we're just getting out of our adolescence. And the next term will see us at 21 years. And as I have learned in the early 20s, all people, and I'm sure institutions as well, develop a solidity and a maturity and a depth that they can't have as adolescents. So I'd like to say to all of those who are coming back, let's stand on the shoulders of the giants who are leaving us now and try and build on their work. Thank you very much, Deputy Speaker.